this is a nice little Eastern Conference matchup. We got the Milwaukee Bucks heading down to Miami. The Lynn season tournament action right now. Bucks lane two and a half over on Bet US. Uh, Miami Heat uh, plus one twenty five on the money line. Total sitting at two twenty seven. I'll kick things off. Usually, I love the Heat as a home dog here, but uh, something about this Bucks team, especially as of late, I know they, uh, I know they, they didn't, they shouldn't have needed that crazy comeback against the Trailblazers, but they they pulled it off. Um, and I think Giannis and Dame really have kind of figured out. Okay, hey, here is a way where we can both put up thirty points. Uh, we can both get ours. And I think you're going to see a really good effort from this Bucks team down in Miami. Uh, and then Heat, who normally a team I like as a home dog, they're pretty banged up. Bam is dealing with the hip. Duncan Robinson dealing with the thumb. Jimmy Butler dealing with an ankle. Now, this is the Miami Heat. This is Heat culture. So I'm sure uh, those guys will probably all play, but I don't think they're going to be 100%. And I think. I think actually, uh, I, I know they are a home dog, but I think the, the Bucks might have the motivation. I think they got off to that little bit of a slow start trying to figure out how to integrate Dame, and I think they've kind of figured some stuff out. I think they uh, roll here down to Miami. Little nervous going against a Heat, a team that's won me a bunch of money over the years. Uh, Chris, how say you on Bucks Heat? Yeah, I just think this is a really dead number. Um, you know, Milwaukee kind of has to be the favorite, right? Everybody knows the success of these Bucks in uh, previous seasons. I mean, everyone kind of ignores the success of the Heat, <laughs> but uh, you know, obviously the Bucks are a stacked team. Lillard is playing better. Giannis is playing better with him, but the Heat and the kind of front court defense they can play, especially with Bam Adebayo back and healthy. I don't know. I you know, I I could see this being another spot. Where the Heat kind of show up and surprise the Bucks, and the Bucks kind of do this, right? We see this for them. I think this is like the third season in a row where their defense just isn't up to par for the good first half of the season, uh, and then you know then they start to show up, right? When it really matters, when the record needs to be, you know, when they need a few more W's in the win column at least. Uh, so uh, I don't know. The Heat just play much better defense right now. The Bucks are the better team, but they're on the road. Comfortable spot for the Heat where they get to stay home for quite a few games now after being on the road for such a long time. So, like I said, it, this is something that I call just a dead number. I think it like has to be here. You're going to see some minor adjustments, but I could see a Heat upset. Uh, and because I think the Bucks are still the better team, that's why I'm staying away from it. Yeah, I mean the the Butler being questionable, as as Mark's pointing out in the chat, Chris Middleton as well. Uh, that kind of you know I was back and forth, but that kind of pushed me towards uh, yeah. pulling the trigger on Milwaukee. Noobs, how say you? Uh, Buck said he. Uh, this is a tough game to figure out because you're right. Butler's questionable, and I think he's going to play. But uh, Miami has been pretty forthright with their injury report. They generally don't do kind of what you see the Lakers do, where LeBron's questionable every night and plays every night. So, um, you know, Butler being questionable has me a little concerned. Again, just double checking on the tournament uh, stuff here. Uh, this is a group that's pretty simple or could get complicated. I just talked about it with the Knicks. But if the Bucks win this game, they win their group. That's 4-0. It's over. The Heat are out. They'll have two losses. Not even a chance at the wild card. But if the Heat can win this game, they win the group if the Knicks lose or it goes to a three-way tie if the Knicks win. So uh, there's a lot to play for here. So the motivation angle for both teams should be pretty strong. Again, my numbers sort of came up pretty close to market. If Butler is in and Middleton's out or less than 100%, I have the Bucks as like a three-point favorite here. It's just, it's a tough matchup for both teams. You know, Miami historically has done very well against Giannis, but they struggle with guards like Damian Lillard. Whereas the Bucks, again, it just don't seem like they're quite right. This is a game I'm going to watch. I just, I don't know what to do here betting-wise. It's hard for me to figure out if these numbers are right or wrong. Yeah, we'll see. I, I feel like they've, I, I know what you mean, not quite right, but I feel like, I don't know, uh, they, they figured a little something out. So give me the bucks, lay in two and a half, lock it in for me. Next.